Hi everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hug for Tuesday the 28th of May and yesterday we talked about um, how we can use our sensitivity to get a sense of positive changes and how we can also align with what our heart's desires are in terms of what we came into the world to share and the theme for this week is sensitivity so let's see what we can get from the Saints and Angels deck. Oh, oh. I have to say, I am feeling a lot of that sensitivity at the moment. Um, commitment. Okay, so <laughs> commitment can be a very strange word when you're very sensitive because if you're sensitive, you are aware of all kinds of possibilities all the time. You kind of become a little bit of a Libran. You are aware of the good side of everything really. So it becomes really difficult to commit to anything, really difficult to make decisions because as we become more sensitive and more porous and more vulnerable to taking on other people's energies or feeling their characters and characteristics, their desires, their whims, their thoughts and ideas about what's good and what's right and what's, what's right to be choosing, um, the more we become attuned to those things, which are great for empaths because we can empathise much more, great for healers because we can get more in tune with people and know how to heal, how to help them to move into the most uh, beneficial healing space. Um, however, if you're just trying to make decisions about your day-to-day -day life, you need to find ways to be able to take care of that sensitivity, to be able to shut yourself off from other people and their thoughts and agendas. That isn't to say that anyone's bad, it's just that you can be picking up all sorts of things, ideas, frequencies and possibilities that you don't even know you're picking up. You know, if someone wants you to be um, a doctor or a, a musician or a whatever, shop assistant, and you really know in your heart what you are being called to do from the inside and yet you are persistently failing to commit to it. Just today, have a look around in your world and without blame or judgment, just ask yourself, okay, what might be that person's thoughts about what I'm trying to do and how can I go inside myself and find the strength to really commit from my heart, to really start to use my sensitivity to notice what's going on inside me as a truth and then use that truth to allow myself to become more committed to it no matter what. So Tuesday, um, just thinking about sensitivity and our commitment to look at sensitivity this week, um, that's how I would interpret that card. So on Tuesday, go inside and honour your commitment to yourself, okay? So let's have another quick look at something else. Right, I'm being told to follow that up with another card from the Saints of Angels. Saints and Angels, right, so Guardian Angel and the card is Stress Management. So. The second thing I want to say about sensitives at the moment and empaths is that there are a lot of pressures and stresses and anxieties flying around. There are all sorts of weirdnesses um, happening and, you know, obviously a lot of them really unfortunate, quite tragic. I'm not going to mention them and give more energy to them or tune in with them. Obviously, we send all our love to everyone who is in turmoil or any of these um, events that are just happening unexpectedly at the moment. However, at the same time, if you are very sensitive, you're already doing that. You're already sending love and you're already connecting with those incidents and with the weird vibration of them. So <clears throat> it's going to be the source of possibly quite a lot of stress. And the thing about being sensitive is that your stress is not always easy to explain. So what I'm gonna say today is that if you are very sensitive and you're feeling a little bit kind of wired with all of the strange things that have been happening recently, just find a way to not question it, not try to explain it to anyone else. Just get quiet, get to bed early if you need to, drink lots of water, take super care of yourself and ask the angels to surrender surround you with love, to surround you in a blanket of love because you know how much you're giving. It may not be easy to explain, it may not be visible to anyone else, but you know, 
what you're doing and you know that a lot of your work is happening on the inner planes and happening in the invisible realm and one day it will be appreciated just for now though take care of yourself on tuesday and um, have a great day see you tomorrow bye